Cultivate and live in a positive environment. Cultivate and live in a positive environment. How are you going to do this? Start off by getting rid of the crabs. Who are the crabs? This analogy is based on, if you take a bucket, and if you put a crab, a crab inside it, the crab would come out of the bucket like this. It would come out quickly. But if you were to put two crabs inside, they would never come out. You know why? Each time one crab were to try to come out, the other crab pulls it down. Each time a crab tries to come out, the other crab outstretches its claw and pulls it back in. So get rid of the crabs in your life. You are moving, or we all move with certain individuals who are very negative. You know, maybe from fr our friends, you know, the people we hang out with. Negative. They've got this negative aura around them. Whatever they say is, you know, basically negative statements. Today we live in a world where there's like so much of negativity around us. You feel the negative vibes. We need to really hunt and find for people who are positive and who have this aura of positivity around them. And when you look at them, when you sit by them, when you listen to them, you feel so energized. You feel basically inspired. We need such people and we have to become like them. So for that, we need to first build our own environment. So what if, you know, if all your friends are negative, what you have to do is try to shift the conversation and try to change them. It's all about shifting the, you know, they may start, you know, today it's all about judging one another, criticizing one another, talking bad about one another. And this is one of the reasons why Islam prohibits gossiping, backbiting. These are all negative things, you know. It doesn't fill an individual with positivity. It fills an individual with negativity. It fills an individual with hate. It doesn't fill an individual with love. If you're positive, you're full of love, kindness, mercy. And this was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ can you ever think of anything negative from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam? He was such a kind individual. And that's why people flocked to him, the Sahaba. Ridwanullah ta'ala alayhi majma'een. And that's how he impacted over a billion Muslims all around the world until today. Allahu Akbar. You know? So we need to follow him and, like I said, cultivate and live in a positive environment. Starting off by getting rid of the crabs. Because a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity and an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. We're supposed to look at the opportunity in every difficulty. If you were to look carefully, if you were to analyze the situation, you would see that it's filled at times not just with one, but so many opportunities. But due to us, you know, looking at it from a very narrow angle, we find it um, difficult. So it is upon us that we strive to become individuals who have, who have a positive or around us.